Hello, elementary school students across America and on United States military bases around the world. I'm Michael T. Mondek, and this is Michael T. Mondek Reads for this Wednesday. And as always, at the same time each day, I come to you virtually reading one picture book to you, your parents, and your teachers. But I can't do it without a preview as to what I'll be reading. Here it is for this Wednesday. You kids out there are all early to betters. But they always say, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. The pajama party gang probably knows about that, especially Drowsy Mouse. She can't sleep without a nightlight. And the fellow gang, pajama party gang members can't sleep with a light on, eat, uh, which creates problems. That, it's the storyline of a book titled Drowsy's Room. A storyline written by Ethel Dreyer and illustrated by Miss Jennifer Parsons. Let's go. The pajama party gang was getting ready for bed. Oh no, cried Drowsy Mouse. What's wrong, asked Cuddle Kitty. My light light won't turn on, said Drowsy Mouse. I think it's broken. Don't worry, we'll get fixed tomorrow, said Sleepy Bear. But what about tonight, squeaked Drowsy? You know I can't sleep without a night light. We'll have to leave the room light on. But Drowsy, Slumber Bunny said, if we leave the room light on, the rest of us won't be able to fall asleep. That's right, said Snuggle Puppy. We feel badly that you can't sleep without a nightlight, but the room light would keep us all up. The, the pajama party gang discussed the problem some more. Finally, Drowsy Mouse said, I will sleep in the playroom tonight. That way I can leave a light on and not bother the rest of you. Everyone agreed this was a good idea. Drowsy gathered up her pillow and her blanket and left the bedroom. The hallway was dark, and the walls and doors looked shadowy and scary. Drowsy ran to the playroom as fast as she could. She flipped on the wall switch, and bright yellow light filled the room, making Drowsy feel a lot better. She snuggled up with her blanket and pillow, closed her eyes, and tried to sleep. But Drowsy Mouse couldn't sleep. She tried counting backwards from 10 to 1. She tried humming to herself. She tried to picture herself floating on a huge fluffy cloud. Nothing worked. I missed a gang, Drowsy said to herself. I'm used to sleeping in the same room with all of them. I missed the sound of slumber bunny snoring, snuggle puppy sleep talking, sleepy bear's midnight snacking, and Cuddle Kitty's thumb sucking. I missed them all. Suddenly she heard noises, a door opening, and feet shuffling. Who's there, Drowsy called out. It's us, said Snuggle Puppy. We, we couldn't sleep, said Cuddle Kitty. We missed you. I missed all of you too, said Drowsy Mouse. Come back to our room, said Sleepy Bear. But you know I can't sleep without a nightlight, said Drowsy. We know, said Slumber Buddy. We solved that problem. Come and see. Drowsy's friends had tied a ribbon on a flashlight and hung the flashlight from the doorknob near Drowsy's bed. Thank you all very much, Drowsy smiled. Now we can all get some sleep. And that, boys and girls, ends the story. I'll be back with you Thursday at the same time on the same channel.